The Center for Philosophy of Religion presents The Evolutionary Argument Against Naturalism A widely endorsed view, sometimes called naturalism, is the belief that there is no God and that human beings, like everything else, are material things. Naturalism typically goes hand-in-hand hand with evolutionary theory, a theory which offers explanations for how human beings came to have the range of features and abilities that they now enjoy. Alvin Plantinga believes it is a mistake to accept both naturalism and evolution together. Maybe both could turn out to be true, but combining belief in evolutionary theory with belief in naturalism leaves one in a pretty tough spot. For when those beliefs work together, Plantinga argues, they should yield the further belief that we don't know much of anything about ourselves or the world. Here's why. According to evolutionary theory, Random genetic variation and natural selection are responsible for the current features of our species, including what goes on in our brains, which in turn causes our everyday behavior. And if human beings are just material things, what happens in our brains and physical surroundings also causes us to have the beliefs we have. These evolutionary processes enhance the fitness of certain creatures, leading to the reproduction and survival over others. But the truth of our beliefs in this process plays much less of a role than we might think. First, note that even if beliefs generated behavior, they need not be true to lead to survival and reproduction. Your truly believing poking a bear will get you mauled, or your falsely believing poking a bear will get you abducted by aliens, <laughs> both lead to the same kinds of action and will help you live to see another day. But Second, argues Plantiga, on this combined picture, our beliefs aren't even partially involved in generating our behavior. And so there doesn't seem to be much of a reason to think they are any more likely to be true than false. And since naturalism doesn't allow any room for a God who has designed our faculties, it then wouldn't be very likely that the ways in which we form beliefs are reliable. And if we come to believe that all the ways we form beliefs, by using memory, reason, perception, or any of our other cognitive faculties are not reliable, then we have a reason which undercuts every belief that we form by way of these cognitive faculties. And that includes absolutely all of our beliefs. Consequently, despite appearances, evolutionary theory and naturalism are not very good bedfellows. The person who believes both theories has a reason to doubt all his beliefs, including his belief in both evolutionary theory and naturalism. Instead, Plantica maintains, evolutionary theory has a much better friend in theism, and that observation is one of the strongest reasons Plantica uses to argue that science is in deep conflict with naturalism, but in deep agreement with religion. To learn more about these ideas, please visit planticavideos.com.